How did you come up with this idea? I mean, the, the focus on sort of building confidence in young girls in Sierra Leone. As I've grown up, I've become increasingly aware of how special I am to have had the mother that I have, um, who has who reared me with this notion that I could achieve absolutely anything. And you have to remember that my mother's parents aren't educated, you know, and neither my father's parents. So she's truly unique to have pushed me down that road and basically said to me, sure, you want to move to America to go work for CNN, even though, you know, you don't have any experience to lead you to that place, go for it. And it struck me that for a lot of girls, particularly growing up in a place like Sierra Leone, they don't have that support system. Because generally speaking, only one in six girls goes to high school in Sierra Leone. Because you know, we're growing in an environment where there's such high poverty, um, girls feel that there are limitations to what they can achieve. And I decided that I wanted to use my position, my experiences, to change that. It's interesting, though, that, that you realize that, you recognize how important having somebody early on instill that, help instill that confidence in you is, because I think a lot of people have confidence kind of just think it's natural. Mm -hmm. They don't realize the, 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 uh, the kind of the empty hole that many people feel who aren't born into a family that, that supports them. You know, for a lot of families in Sierra Leone, because the poverty rate is so high, you know, over half of the population is still living on less than $2 a day. So parents have to make a choice, right, as to which children, which of their kids to send to school. We know that very often it's the girls that get left behind. What I'm looking for with We Can Lead are girls that are already showing signs of being special, already showing signs of being extraordinary. I'm looking for those girls to bring them into my program and not just give them educational assistance in the form of school fees and pay for their books and, and tuition, but also pair them up with mentors, other incredible women who have achieved things already, who will guide them and nurture that potential girls can you know apply themselves they can be nominated by other people and basically what we're going to do is we're going to look as I say for girls who are not just outstanding but girls who've already shown the capacity to lead in their homes in their communities in their schools there has to be some you know obviously academic acumen as well but I also recognize that if you're going to school in a place with a broken school system it's not the best measurement for what your potential is right. what do you hope for these girls at the end of the day I mean for you what would be the ideal result for them for me, what would give me the most satisfaction is to see girls fulfill their dreams, whatever those are, whether it's be you know doctors, lawyers, for them to stand up and be at the forefront of society and really affecting change. We want the girls to not just benefit from the program that we're setting up, but also come back and give back and ultimately inspire other girls. And ultimately, I want to change the fabric of, of society. I want these girls to not just thrive, but I also want to change the way people view girls and the roles they can play. If somebody wants to help, how do they go about it? If someone wants to help, they can go to our website, www.we-canlead.org, and they can register their interest. We have a page there. They can donate. They can put themselves forward as, to be a mentor. Obviously, they will be scrutinized. Um, you know, there'll be a, little, there'll be a check, um, and they can have events of their own to raise money for us. Um, you know, they can just become an ambassador for We Can Lead and get the word out. We need to educate our girls. We know what it means for the girls themselves, their families, their communities, and countries as a whole.